this Jamaican woman made this video talking about how her grandmother is from India, right? And apparently this Indian woman had a child with a black man and then that child also had a child with a black person, right? So she's talking about how basically she's black. I mean, she three-fourths black, right? And because of that, I mean, she mostly looks black. I will say people who are three-fourths black... They mostly look black, but you can still look at them and kind of tell something is kind of off. Like a lot of times they have a looser hair texture, you know, their skin is not quite as dark, you know, yada, 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 right? But I mean, for the most part, like, yeah, sure, right? But then she talks about how her Indian grandmother puts down her hair, right? And she's like, how does that make sense? Because you willingly had a child with a black person and then that child had a child with a black person. And I want to talk about this because I say all the time, like concerning these interracial relationships, just because somebody marries you or does the do with you does not mean that they don't still hate you and everything about you. Now, I'm sure if you've been on my YouTube channel, you probably recognize that the majority of my videos are about racism and anti-blackness, right? Of course, I talk about other stuff, but the vast majority, I'd say like 80%, and honestly, that's probably like an undercount, right? The vast majority of my videos are about racism, right? And um, I get a lot of comments from non-black people. They'll be like, oh, you know, like not all of us are racist. I have a black husband or I have a black wife. And it's like, okay, like, <laughs> you know, congrats. Good for you, right? But that in no way does not mean that you are not still racist. Like, what? You know, I don't, I don't get why people think that just because somebody is attracted to somebody of a different race, that means they not racist no more. Because look at me. First of all, I'm a baddie, okay? Like, I mean, pretty much everybody is attracted to me. I look good, right? Men of all races are attracted to me because I am attractive, period, right? So why would I sit here and pretend that a man being attracted to somebody who is attractive means that he is not racist. That does not make any sense. Like, attractive people attract. Like, huh? In fact, can we take it back to slavery real quick? Because you know one thing about me, baby. I'm going a, I'm to a bring slavery up in every single conversation, okay? During slavery, white men and white women were raping black men and black women, okay? It was not just white men doing it. It was not just black women who were victims of it, right? So these white people were literally, like forcing themselves on us they were they were forcibly having sex with us they were raping us right and using your logic I guess that means they weren't racist because they were attracted to us and wanted to have sex with us and you know actually a lot of times biracial children would be born from this rape right so according to y'all because they wanted to have sex with black people and they had biracial kids that mean they weren't racist no more like, that's the logic y'all using. Like, huh? Now, let's bring it back to the present day. Have you ever listened to biracial speak? Because I promise you, 99 times out of 100, they're going to tell you that their non-black parent is super racist. Like, super racist, right? I have never actually heard a biracial talk about their black parent and be like, yeah, my black parent was racist to me, saying my features were ugly, this, that, that, called me slurs. I've never heard that, but I always hear biracial people talking about how their non-black parent called them the N-word and called them nappy-headed and was racist and yada, yada, yada. It's not enough to just find black people attractive because yeah, okay, sure, you married a black person, you have a half black child, that's just, that's, that's not enough for you to say, yeah, I'm not racist because it's like, all you did is find a black person attractive. Okay. And I mean like, yes, we are attractive, attractive people attract people, right? It's, it's just, it's, it's not enough. It's not enough, bro. And watching this video, of this Jamaican woman talking about how her Indian grandmother puts her hair down, even though her Indian grandmother is the one who had a child with a black person. And then, you know, that child had a child with a black person, yada, yada, yada. It's like, y'all hatred is like very, mm, it's very like, I can't really, I can't really explain it because thinking about my, you know, my own life, thinking about my own dating choices or whatever, I would not date somebody I felt this way about, right? I would not have children with a man who I look down on or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because my children are going to be half of that. And my grandchildren may very well be that thing because, you know, my children may have children with that other half as well. 
Why would I like that doesn't make any sense. Also, side note, I would just like to point out that I did not like the usage of this woman's emojis. I'm going to just point that out real quick, right? Because she typed this out talking about, oh, yeah, my Indian grandmother, yada, 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 so and so and so. When she the one who had a child with her, then she put the ninja emoji, you know, like for nigga, right? And she's like, yeah, and that child also had a child with her and another ninja emoji. And it's like, mm, you know, and... I'm not nitpicking just because she's not black American, you know, because y'all are going to claim I'm just nitpicking because, oh, you know, she's not black American. So you wondering why she's using the N word at all, yada, yada, yada. That's not even why I'm nitpicking. I'm just kind of side eyeing it because it's like you called your Indian grandmother your Indian grandmother. OK, you ain't put no emoji with a red dot on the head. You ain't say, yada, yada, yada. you know, that Indian music, whatever. No, you ain't say none of that. You called her an Indian woman, right? But then when you spoke on your grandfather and, you know, your mom or your daddy, whoever, right, you put the ninja emoji. I don't know. That was just kind of weird to me. I think what I'm trying to say is that it seemed a bit derogatory, right? And let me explain what I mean, because I'm black American or whatever you call us, African-American, FBA, Ados, Freeman, whatever, the ethnicity of people who are descended from transatlantic slavery in the United States of America, right? And of course, you know, we reclaimed the N-word and we turned it into something positive with each other, right? So, you know, when we're talking to each other, it's not derogatory at all, right? But I'm not going to hold you. Sometimes you hear some people say it and, and they'll be black people. I'm not talking about non-black people. And it's like, um, you kind of just said that as a slur. I'm not going to hold you. And I noticed that, you know, a lot of times with um, non-African-American black people. So like Africans or Caribbeans, they use the N-word in a derogatory fashion. Like they'll use it and it's like, nah, you don't need to be saying that. Because you know what I'm saying? The way you use it is just off, right? But also I've noticed it with um, some black American elders, like the older generation. Sometimes they use the N-word and it's like, child, you sound like a, you know, like a, a overseer or something, right? Like I'm, I'm not even joking, right? And the way she used it, it kind of gave me that feeling. It seemed derogatory. Anyway, it's always like, mm, you know, when you see biracials and people like this woman who is three fourths black, you know, talk about their experiences with their parents and their grandparents. Right. Because this is my thing. This is my thing. Take a moment. Take a moment to think about this, because this Jamaican woman, she's three fourths black and one fourth Indian. Right. So she has a parent who is half Indian and half black. Right. And then, you know, of course, the Indian grandmother is that parent's parent, of course, right? Can you imagine how that biracial parent grew up, right? This person was half black and half Indian, and they have a mother who clearly looks down on blackness, right? Can you imagine how it must have felt growing up with a parent like that who put you down for, you know, like, half of what you are, right? Because I post all these videos talking about biracials and how they racist as hell, because they are, it, it's just honestly true, right? Like, it's, it's, it's the honest to God truth, right? But when you think about how they grow up, it's, it's like, it kind of sheds some understanding on it. Now, don't get me wrong, fuck y'all niggas anyway, because you're still racist, but it's like, mm. Because, like, can you imagine how that parent grew up? <laughs> Again, you know, this person is half black and half Indian, and they have an Indian mother who is racist against black people. Can you imagine how they grew up, the things they heard this Indian mother say? I'm sure she put blackness down all the time and in, you know, different ways. It wasn't just about the hair, right? So then it's like, it's funny because black people swear that biracials are black, right? Most black people swear that. But then it's like, these people view you from the same lens as they racist ass non-black parent. Because that's who raised them. That's the that's the widest part. Because usually with these biracials, they have a non-black mama. And we all know that mamas are the ones who do the primary raising. That's just the honest to God truth, right? I will say this. Most of the time, children identify more culturally with whatever their mother is, okay? So if your mama is from a different country or a different ethnicity or whatever, usually you're going to identify more with what your mama is because again moms do most of the like you know teaching and raising in that capacity right so it's like you got this person as your mama and you're like who is surprised that you grew up to hate black people the only thing that's surprising is that black people pretend that you black and that the shit that you feel and think is fucking normal like 